No, no. We do not hit. We do not hit. Can you read this for me? I want you to read this for me right here. I hate the house rules because I don't like literally. What's the very first one, Pearson? Are we allowed to hit? We do not hit. It seemed like everybody was making good use of that board. So whilst Dad went off to work, I got on with the next technique. Now, they... No, he just hit me. So. Correct. And you will say to him that if he wants to sit up there and watch what you're doing, he can. Okay. Or he can go and play, but you don't want the hitting. Okay. If you would like to sit on the counter next to Mommy and Jojo and watch, then you can. Or you can go play Play-Doh in the other room. But Bronson had his own agenda for us. Once in a while they'll buy lunch, but typically they bring their lunch to school. Do you... He's going through the motions with you because he wants to see what you're going to do next. Okay. You'll give him a warning for his behaviour. Stop spitting at Mommy or you go into the penalty box. Right, stand up. I don't want to be What you're going to do is to place him into the penalty box, okay, and you're going to tell him why he's there. You're then going to ignore him completely and you're going to set the alarm for three minutes, okay? You're sitting in here for hitting and spitting at mommy and you're going to sit down. Oh, that voice is not good enough. Oh, no. This is what I'm talking about, this voice. You're sitting in penalty box for spitting and hitting mommy and that's not acceptable. And you're going to sit down for no! three minutes and not get up. Ignore the profanity, don't even worry about that. It's okay. all for a reaction. Kids use bad language to get a rise out of the parents. So the quickest way to eliminate that is to ignore it. He got up from that penalty box over 25 times. Bronson's most challenging with timeouts because he's continuously getting up and 